Hi, this is the 3D Printing Lawyer. Everyone is making a bamboo firmware video, so I thought I would weigh in. No one specifically asked me to weigh in, although Grant from 3D Musketeers or something like that said that every content creator should weigh in. So here's, if you haven't heard about what's going on, here's the TLDR. Bamboo has released a new firmware that requires you to log in to send print jobs over the network. It's Right now it's optional and only available on the X1 series, which is not a consumer-grade printer anyway. In my opinion, it's over $1,000, so definitely not your typical home user. And I thought that was the case anyway. Like, I that's the way I send my jobs to the printer is through Bamboo Studio, and I, I have to log in. I didn't know there was a way not to do it. You also, the firmware upgrade also says you'll need to log in to update the firmware. That seems like a good idea. I don't want some malicious device on my network updating my printer's firmware. To initiate remote video access, that again is something probably should be locked down. The most important thing is n nothing will be able to set the temperature on your printer without you logging in. That seems like you know, some terrorists could set your house on fire or some person on the internet doesn't like you. Why are people ups upset about this? Because Bamboo Lab has always been a closed platform and now they're closing it off even more. So people are upset about that. I am not upset. It's basically the Android versus iPhone scenario, right? An open source platform versus a closed one. There's tons of Android phones from brands you've never heard of, and they're cheap. Same thing with the printers. There's tons of open source printers from brands you've never heard of, and they're, and they're cheap. People like to tinker with them, and it's a hobbyist thing. But there's one iPhone that comes out every year by one company, that people have put their trust into to protect them. It's a different relationship they have with, with their devices. They're not trying to tinker. They don't need root access to, to their device. Even though they paid $1,000 for it, they're happy having a curated view of the world through the device. It's uh, basically a managed solution versus a, a DIYer. And because of this, it costs more. It, and it's not open, but it, it just works. Now, a lot of people bought an Android phone because they, could get, because they could get root access on their phone. And if that's you, don't buy a bamboo printer. Don't buy an iPhone. Buy an Android. I really don't think that bamboo is getting in people's way also people are exaggerating because there are tons of print farms with you know hundreds or maybe even thousands of bamboo printers bamboo is not going to get in the way of their commercial users and make it so that they can't continue to automate their printers to continue to speak in the context of phones i'm going to continue to give away an iphone every month not an android because I don't want people, especially new to using telephones, to need help. I'm also going to be giving away a bamboo printer to a school every month that wants to start a 3D printing program. Because you don't send them something that they're going to str struggle with. You just want it to work. If they want a STEM program where they built a 3D printer from scratch and then they can buy you know rep wrap or are those is that even a thing I don't know I hear that term a lot or a soval or a reality ender that's my take on it it's not a big deal it's always been closed source this isn't the straw that broke the camel's back this is what 
their users expect. They want protection. They're putting their reliance on a company, and the company is stepping up. Got questions? Drop them in the comments below. Please like this video. Thank you for subscribing. Have a good day.